Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Great day, learners! This is Mom Rox, your TLE teacher, your Nanay Rox. I am here to guide you in your learning journey. Be sure to have your self-learning module ready. All right, let's get started. Do you still recall our previous lesson? Can you catch me up to speed on where we are in our lesson? Excellent! We discuss about produce wrap gift items, which is the act of enclosing a gift in some sort of materials with the ribbon and top with a decorative bow. We also tackle procedure in wrapping by a bag such as Wrapping a gift is about so much more than ensuring the elements of surprise for the recipient. Give wrap as the beautiful personal touch to the earth of gift giving. Give bags allow you to express your creativity in the presentation of the gift. Here are the procedure in making gift
are going to make a ribbon. Can you still remember the types of ribbon we discussed last time? Mm, great! Those are reset ribbon or reset bow ribbon and dyer bow tie ribbon. But your skin ribbon making are scissors, floral wire, and ribbon. Number one, create the layers of your bow with your hands. Hold four fingers in one. Now, ten times while wrapping. Make sure all layers are flat. Second, once wrapped, slide the ribbon off your hand to ensure the layers stay flat. Since the layers together at the center of your bow with your fingers on each side of your ribbon cut a notch. Third, slip or twine into the notch Hold tightly and secure the center of your bow from your set petals by gently spreading the ribbon layers outward and twisting upward. Once your set petals are formed, shape into fluffy ball. Whoa! Great! Imagine, even if our good kit is not very expensive, but with his envelope or wrap with love for the person you are giving it, this becomes very special. Now, let's move on to our new topic. Our performance standard the learners understand and create recycled project. Our objectives for this session are first, advocate the recycling to minimize waste. We utilize the available tools and materials at home to make Christmas decors and food to light the spirit of Christmas in everyone's heart. Now, let us watch and listen to an inspirational song. I hope you can guess what message is. Are you ready? And so do I! Kita hapunin busi-busi lahat ng yon ang hintak na mga humbihaya. Kikinat kita, kura-kura, pinaglalaruan ang iyong mga mata.
even during these trying times. Do not forget that our Almighty God is there ensuring provision to all our brothers and sisters who are in need so to bring happiness despite the pandemic. As the holiday season approaches, there are things which we think are worthless. Today, we find ways to show us that this thing can be recycled and are still useful as decorations to represent a star that will shine in the upcoming Yuletide season. We will now prepare paper lanterns. When we say paper lanterns, these are paper lanterns. These are classic paper lanterns are so easy to make and can be used as a decoration in adding the festive mood for any occasion or event. The materials or supplies needed are paper or card stack, scissors, stapler or tape, glue, ruler and pencil, things to decorate uh, your lantern with either gift wrap paper, washing tape, ribbon, sequins, sticker, little little glue, small buttons, etc. Step in preparing classic paper lantern. First, prepare the lantern. You start out with an A or size or any rectangular sheet of paper or card stack. Red or yellow are preferred colors for the Chinese themes, lanterns, but you can always choose any color you like. Second, make the handle. Cut an inch wide strip off on one short side. Set aside for the handle. Third, fold the paper in half lengthwise. Fourth, draw a horizontal line. Draw a horizontal line one inch from the long edge opposite the fold. This line will be our guide for cutting but may not be necessary for more mature, mature couples. For the fifth, cut the first slit. Starting from the folded edge, cut a straight line about an inch from one short edge all the way up to horizontal line. Six, cut more slit. Continue to cut more straight line about one inch apart until you reach the opposite short edge paper. Remember that the horizontal line marks the point where you stop cutting each straight line. Number seven, unfold the paper. Unfold paper will have a several slit along the middle. Erase any pencil marks or Fold the crease opposite way to hide the pencil marks at the back. Number eight, decorate the top and bottom edge. Keep, you can keep your lantern plain or decorate the top and bottom edge. Okay, here are the cell ideas you can try. You may use paint or color. To make a border by painting or coloring the top and the bottom edge of the paper. Or you may have draw details, create a pattern and details with a little blue puppy paint or colored markers. 
or through a bag. Do a strip of kid rock paper, paper paper, washi tape, fabric, lace, or ribbon white, a white ribbon to make a border. Or blue shape or lotion. Blue crab foam or felt shape, small button bits, pigments, and other lotion. Number nine, form the paper into a lantern. Transform the paper into a lantern by forming it into a tube. Overlap the long edges at least. Hawkins is people or thing at the top and bottom of the overlap. And last, Blue B handle. Take the paper handle, make it step two. Glue the ends on the side or on the inside of the lockers top edge. Decorate the handle if you like. Okay, let's watch the video on how making an easy and simple paper lantern.
again, the steps in making classic paper lanterns are first, prepare the lantern, make the handle, fold the paper in half, draw a horizontal line, cut the first slit, cut more slits, unfold the paper. Decorate the top and bottom edge. Form the paper into a lantern and last, glue the handle. What are the given ideas in decorating top or bottom edge? Those are paint or color, draw details, glue a band, glue shapes or notions. If you have available materials at home, you can recycle them and make a nice decoration. You do not need to buy. At this point in time, we can make decoration without having to spend too much money. All we have to do is to be more creative, artistic, and imaginative. To test how much you have learned today, let us answer this activity. Direction. Identify the following steps in making classic paper lantern is described the following statement. Write your ad, write the letter of the best answer in the comment box. You only have five seconds to answer every number. All right, let's get it on. For number one, to use any of rectangular sheet of paper or card set, depending on the color of on your preference. It is never in cut the first sleep. Second, Draw a horizontal line or other C to make the handle or letter D prepare the paper. Your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! Your time stop. If your answer is Prepare the paper, then are correct. Number two, to create or draw a mark as a guide for cutting, it is A, cut more slip. Letter B, draw a horizontal line. Or letter C, fold the paper in half. Or letter D, unfold the paper. Your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Oops, your time's off. If your answer for number two is better, B, draw a horizontal line, then your time. Next, number three. To cut an inch wide strip or a strip off on the short side of sleep paper, it is letter A, decorate the top or bottom. Or letter B, draw a horizontal line. Letter C, make the handle. Or letter D, unfold the paper. Your time is up. Four, I already showed you two, one.
Three, two, one. Up, more hands up. If your answer for number four is letter B, unfolded paper. Very good. Next, number five. To make a border by painting or following the top and bottom edge of the paper. This is number eight. Draw a horizontal line. Or letter B, glue, draw a details. Or letter C, glue a band. Or letter D, paint or color. Your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Close. Your time is up if your answer is letter D, paint or color. That's awesome! Number six. To make a border using a glue strip or keep rubbing paper, pattern paper, fabric, lace, or ribbon. It is letter A. Draw a details. Or letter B. Glue a band. Or letter C. Blue shape or motion. Or letter D. Paint or color. Your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, your time is off. Here, your answer is letter B, blue A band. Excellent. Number ten. To add crop foam or belt shapes. Small buttons, bead, sequins, and other motions. It is letter A, draw details. Or letter B, glue a band. Or letter C, blue shapes or notions. Or letter D, paint or color. Your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Your time is off. If your answer for number seven is letters B, blue shapes, or motion, what a brilliant answer! Tap brain to create patterns and details with glitter glue, glitter glue, poppy paint, or colored markers. It is letter A, raw details. Or letter B, blue a band. Or letter C, blue shades or lotion. Or letter D, paint or color. Your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, your time is up. If your answer is letter A, raw. Details, you are so smart. Second to the last, number nine, to transform the paper into a lantern by forming it into a tube shape. It is letter A, tap more slim. Or letter B, draw a horizontal line. For letter C, form the paper into a lantern. For letter D, glue the handle. Your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Box. Your time is off. If your answer for second to last number is letter C, form the paper into a lantern. That was so great. Last number 10. To fold a colored paper into strips or lengthwise. It is letter A. Cut the first strip. Or letter B. Draw a horizontal line. Or letter C. Fold the paper into a lantern. Or letter D. Unfold the handle. 
Four time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Box, your time is up. If your answer is letter C, all paper is perfect. How many of you got the perfect score? Write your answer in the comment box. Whoa, I am so amazed. Congratulations for a job well done. You did it. And this lesson, you can integrate in the art subject. The traditional folding square paper to make various shapes, which is known as origami in Japan. This form of paper artwork can range from simple to complex. It is also considered an art evolved into multidisciplinary subject incorporating aspects of mathematics, civil engineering, and computer science. In modern day classroom for teaching geometry, teaching skills, fraction, problem solving, and fine, fine science application. In architecture, an incredible tool for demonstrating mathematical concepts, complex structural design, and many engineering models. So, for your assignment, surprise your parents and create your own version of a Christmas decoration using recycled materials. With our loved one, let us celebrate a warm and peaceful Christmas. That's all for now. Let's call it a day. Once again, this is Mom Rock saying, if I am given a chance to wish anything this Christmas, I wish you never lose hope, be safe, full of peace and joy and happiness. Let us remember that our God, our Creator, is always uplifted at all times. Because whatever the situation is, education must continue.